Hi, it's Doodling Debbie again with another video tutorial. I did one in the past on how to do um, printing cuts. <laughs> this is my um, new Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software I can use, but you can use this with any version, do this with any version. Okay, first of all, I brought my image in here, and this is a ping image, and the graphics are by uh, Shelley Comiskey, and it's from the collection of Ghoul's Night Out. Okay, first of all, I want to go in here and resize our little witch a little smaller. And I'm going to go ahead and blow this up a little bit so you can see it better. Of course, that blew it up way too much. I'll we'll just have to zoom out on that a little bit more, I guess, for this video. I had to make my screen size smaller. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go in here and do the um, trace area, select our trace area. Many of you already know how to do this, and I like to get it as close to the image as I possibly can. Okay, now that I have that in here, we want to make sure our high pass filter is turned off, and you want to include increase this threshold a little bit at a time to all the areas that you want to cut out are there without any, like if I left it here, this would make little cutout holes. I do want the cutout holes around her arms and her legs. So I'm going to go ahead and just creep this up just a little bit more. Those are gone. Okay, I'm going to go up here because I want this to cut out and this to cut out and this to cut out to, to make the shape uh, like this. Okay, so I'm going to hit this trace portion of it. Okay, now a lot of people complain about getting a lot of white around the edges. This image seems to do an auto trace really well. But I'm going to go in here and blow it up and show you an example. Here we'll just take this little and do a selection of it. Okay, if I go in here and as you can see we can blow it up even more. So let's just get this little area and blow it up more. Okay, right in here you'll see all of this little white area and the way that you can get this out is to do a little editing on it. Okay, you're going to double click until you get into your point editing mode over here and you see these little nodes, they can be manipulated. So what you do to get them closer to that cut line is just click on them and drag this one up. And you can click just about anywhere to make the changes that you want to make. And if you this close to the image as you can possibly get it to leave out a lot of this white space. I move that in. And this can be a little time consuming. So what I do when I have an image that I know I will probably reuse and I make it into a cutting file, I save the picture with it and also the cutting file. And I may mark this down as Shelley Kaminsky's uh, Witch or something as my file. Because going in here and making all of these go right up against the image itself can be time consuming. So I definitely want to be able to save this. And I like to do a lot of Halloween stuff, so this is definitely an image I would use over and over. And so I want a really, really good, close, clean cut without a lot of white around the edge. And as you can see, I would just go about doing, going all the way around this image and making these little changes. And sometimes you have to go back, you move one, and you see, oh, I don't like that. And yeah, you'll have to go back in and bring that up and bring that up. And then sometimes, too, you even have to change the curve of it. That can make it a little bit easier because this is a long curve in here. And then if I go and adjust this in, it brings it in here. But say it was a straighter line, I would just go over here and hit Make Flat. And that would take us more into the areas of making this, as it says, flat. And you can even click on here and make another little node that you may want to just make a simple adjustment on just that small area. And go back in here. And I, the reason why I'm spending a little bit more time doing this because after I do this little area, I would like to show you. Okay, I'm going to show you now. This is a white area. I'm going to go to uh, my cut style window. And as you can see here, when it prints, I mean, when we do a print and cut, it will cut right along these edges, which is really close to the dress that she's wearing, and that's what I want. But then right here, I would have all of this white space, and I don't want it 
to see that unless I you can use your markers and color these areas in around the edges and sometimes that's a little faster if you don't have the time to go in and do all this editing but for an image that you think you would use a lot it's worth the time so I'm gonna go back here and move this in again and I still see a little area here I want a little bit snugger up to her dress but then that brought this out so I may want to go back in move this around so I just get along right the edge there okay let's go take a peek at that cut line again there we go it's nice and close to the edge I would go back in and all around this area to get right up in here next to her dress on the outside to make a really clean cut without a whole lot of that that white let's go back to our so that's how you do your print and cuts and oh I wanted to show you one other thing okay you can use your erase tool which the new designer erase tool you can resize to any size you want and if I was going to go in here and do some erasing I would blow this up really big so I can see what I'm doing so let's go in here and blow it up and then I think I'll blow it up even more Okay, and I can probably start with one of the bigger erasers for this and you can just erase uh, these cut lines out because sometimes this little um, these little areas like this are kind of kind of hard to use and see there is the solid so it kept the kept this closed for me if I just use the outline it would probably not keep this uh, path closed so let's go ahead and go back down to a regular size so you're going well you still when it prints it's still going to print it on the image there so if I really wanted this out before I even did an auto trace this is the best way to do it I would just go in here on my image because see how little that string is that's just not something that I would want to cut you can always make a little spider with other stuff okay so we got our erase tool here and I just would go in I've, and um, erase it. You have to keep on selecting the eraser if you let go of it. I wish it had the option to hang on to it for as long as you want to until you switch tools, but it doesn't. Maybe they'll do that someday down the line, and some people may like it where if they're off of it, it takes it right out. And So just keep on going right up here to the edge, and ta-da! No more spider, no more teeny tiny cuts to try and peel off that cutting mat. And now we can just move our little witch right back over here. Line her up. You can blow it up to make sure she's lined up real good. And then look at those cut lines again. And then once you get her where you want to, you can use your little arrows to line her up even better and once you get exactly the perfect cut I always like to group them because I don't want my cut image to be released from my graphic image so I go in here and I group the selected area and then you do a save so I would go file save as silhouette um, this one here I just did which studio okay I hope this has helped you to make your better uh, print and cut images have a great day bye bye